As we prepare for more rain, a radar has moved to Hammond that will help better detect storms like these. Amelia Strahan tells us about the radar and why it made the move west. For almost three decades, the KLAX radar stood at the National Weather Service in Slidell. But in November, it embarked on a journey west. Over the years, we realized there was an opportunity to move that radar farther west and just get better coverage across our entire area. The National Weather Service spent three months transporting and reassembling the radar, and now it calls Hammond home. Yeah, I think we're excited just to get the radar back. The move to Tangipahoa Parish will allow the radar to tilt lower to the ground, making things like tornadoes easier to detect, bringing Southeast Louisiana the most accurate weather updates when they need them most. You have the, the, the ability to make it a little bit better, and we can do that, then let's go ahead and do that. The KLIX radar should be up and running sometime in the next few weeks. We have to just take it day by day, and we'll probably find out the day before that it's going to start going out to the world. And with potential flooding in the forecast for Monday and Tuesday, experts say the best way to stay safe is to exercise caution. The biggest tips that we can't stress enough is that if you notice street flooding, um, don't drive through that through that flooded street. Instead, take an alternative route or wait until the, the flooding is subsided. In New Orleans, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. The National Weather Service will use the radars out of Mobile, Jackson, Lake Charles, and Louis Armstrong Airport to monitor the weather conditions until the KLIX radar is fully operational.